Hey guys, uh, we were gonna live stream, but apparently YouTube has changed their rules for live streaming. And because our account's not big, we can't stream from my phone. So I could stream from my laptop, but the, I'm sure the camera on there is not that great. So the quality would be terrible. So we're just gonna one take it here. What we're gonna do is Kevin's making hamburgers. They look delicious and smell delicious. We got a little indoor grill we're gonna use. And while he's doing that, we're gonna do a little bit of Valent, well, I guess they're kind of like, they're not that Valentine's thing. They're basically just questions that you would generally ask a significant other. So I'm trying not to dip my sweater in the raw hamburger meat. Uh, I'll be fine, the dog can lick it off. All right, Whew. snap that waistband. First question, where would you most like to go on vacation? You're up first. Anywhere warm. With, and, a, with an ocean. With an ocean. I think if I could choose anywhere, it'd be like Bora Bora or something. But the, all the places I want to stay there are crazy expensive. What would you do if you won $10,000? Pay for our vacation. Me too. I would just book a vacation, we would go. What do you like best about me? A loaded question. A loaded question, guys. Oh, really? My battery's gonna die. Do I like this much? How stubborn you are. No? Pfft. Loaded question, I told you. No matter what I said, everything, baby, the whole package. <laughs> no, I was gonna say consistency for you, something like that, and I guess that kind of comes down to stubbornness, too. Yes. Yeah, we'll go with it. I'm not very good at putting uh, feelings to words. At least we thought this was going to be one take. It's not really because uh, the battery on my camera was dying, so now I'm recording with my phone. Let's try. We're going to just continue where we left off. What do I like about you? be easier to say what I don't like about you. Which is? Nothing. Ah, good answer. I would say mine's the same. Uh... How would you feel if I made more money than you? I feel like we've been there before. I don't care. I thought like we might have at some point. Oh yeah, we definitely were at some point. This is one thing I was talking about with the guys at work, or one of the guys at work. Like I don't view the money I make as my money. Yeah, so it is. And I haven't since we got, ever, really. Like whatever I make, it's just as mature as it is mine. That's true. I would say he and, basically behaved that way even when we were dating. Yeah, so uh, her making more money, it's just cool. Cool. Like, less stress. Would you rather go for a hot air balloon ride or bungee jump? This one's so easy for me. I would like to bungee jump out of a hot air balloon. See, me neither, but a hot air balloon. Somebody grip that so tight. Yeah, like it's literally it's fingerprints. It's the perfect like, thing, but without bruising it. That's crazy. It literally looks like someone's hand imprinted on it. I, it would definitely be hot air balloon ride for me because bungee jumping does not sound good to me at all. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? I think I know what yours is. What? That garlic octopus legs that you ate when we were down at the coast the one time. That wasn't strange. That was good. I would it was weird. Again. It like had... The little suction cup still on it and everything. Oh, I pulled that sucker out of the ocean, diced it up, threw some garlic in there, and then served it to him. That's pretty cool. It was disgusting. I'm pretty sure he at least partially ate it just to gross me out. It did originally, yeah. Yeah, but see? It actually tastes really good. I would totally get that again. Uh, the grossest thing, probably an eyeball. Strangest, I guess. No, strangest. Probably an eyeball. Yeah, fish eyeball. No, I think I've had like a squirrel or a rabbit or. Eyeball. Yeah, like actual eyeball. Oh, okay. I have not had an eyeball. The strangest thing I've had is probably... I don't even know. I can't even think of anything stranger than uh, oysters, which a lot of people find that very normal to eat. I haven't had any oysters. You've well, never had oysters? Not raw. I've never had oysters raw on oysters. the half shell? Yeah, I've never had them. Oh, yeah. They're not good. You're not missing anything. What phone apps do you use all the time? internet one. Right, the browser. Yeah, it was, I don't know what it's called. It's a web um, browser, Safari. 
that realtor.com. Yeah, we've been kind of looking at houses, thinking maybe we, maybe we, that's in our future soon. I'm not sure. I've been using that one a ton. I obviously use Instagram a ton. Who? Oh, really? See, I don't use that CBS. Well. Oh, yeah, not me. Nope, I use Apple Music a lot. I use Instagram, Facebook, the browser. And then I have some photo editing software that I use fairly often too. What would you rather give up, TV or music for a month? Which one's so easy for me. Me too. Yeah. Music, because I don't really listen to it unless I'm in a funk. TV, well, I'm just not even close to me. I'm always thinking about canceling all of our TV stuff. The only reason I've never done it is because he would be mad. I would be mad? Not mad, but like he would feel like he was missing out. I think we would get a couple weeks in and he'd be like, hey, you know, it's like this much to get Hulu or Netflix or whatever. I think I'd be like, woman, what are you doing? Yeah. It was a lot worse when I was in the field. Right, that's true because then when he was out in the field, You'd he'd sit and, wait. sit and wait forever in the car. And I don't know. sleep very well in the car. No, no. Which movie do you regret wasting two hours of your life on? I feel like this is one that we just watched. Really? Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. See, like, I, when I saw this question, I was like, that's going to be a hard one. Because I know there are some where I was like, I feel dumber for having watched that. Yeah, there's been several ways. Oh, one. I feel like that firefighting one we watched, I thought that was pretty dumb. You were asleep, I think. <laughs> what is it, smoke jumpers or something like that? Is that what it was called? The kid one. Plan of fire. Plan of fire. Uh, yeah, I just felt like... I think it was kid, like, the kids liked it, and that's who I rented it for. So that's true. That's true. What's a word or phrase people use that you can't stand? GD. Ooh, agreed. Big time agree. I cringe. Do you sing in the shower? Say that again. Do you sing in the shower? No, I have in a long time. I have before, but yeah, I almost never sing in the shower. I sing in the shower? When? You sing in your sleep. You sing in the shower. You've heard me sing in my sleep. Maybe. Do you consider yourself an old soul? I don't even know what that means. Oh, really? I definitely do. I don't like California very much. But they do have good avocados. But I miss California produce. What three things are on your bucket list? Mm, a good vacation. Mm -hmm. Tropical, right? That's on mine too. Going to Ireland, that's on my bucket list. And what else? At some point living on a lake. Lake or on the ocean? On the ocean, one of the two. Living on the water at some point. What's your favorite kind of food? You're gonna have to wait till you come back over here. My favorite kind of food, he's washing his hands. Excuse the noise. My favorite kind of food is definitely Mexican food. I could eat Mexican food every night and be happy. Chinese food. Cabin is Chinese food. I, I don't like Chinese food that much. <laughs> I just think it's okay. So just roll out here. Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe I would be more fond of it if we lived somewhere that had better Chinese food. What's your favorite book? Favorite book. We're gonna exclude the Bible. Uh, who would like to sound? Me. Uh, probably the biography of uh, Jim Bridger. Is it autobiography or biography? When someone else writes it. Uh, when someone else writes it, it's a biography. It's an autobiography. If you're writing yourself. I don't even know what that would be. He is one of the frontiers of the It would be one of the uh, sports psychology books that I read recently. I, the one that I wrote a review about. Or not. The one that I recorded a review about. I think. It's like a good mix of story and motivational personal growth stuff. Okay, uh, uh, I also like the, I didn't read it, I listened to it. 
John Blunder? Oh, I really like that. Oh. No, like, uh, what is it, Seven Healthy Habits? Or seven oh, habits. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. That one's really good. I, really like I just feel like it was, it's kind of slow. It's a little bit of a rough read. It's hard to get through. I didn't read it, though. I, I listened to it, too. I listened to the audience. I still felt That's like it. That's enough onions, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, who's the better cook? You have to come with them. I'm making a mess. Well, you can give your card first. Who do you think is a good cook? I think we're equally good cooks. There's no like master and padawan? No. Really? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I think it depends on what's what being is. cooked. I would say Amber is better at cooking in like overall, uh, but there's a handful of things that I am really good at. I would say that's accurate. Like these hamburgers he makes are phenomenal. He makes street tacos that are super good. He makes- There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that yeah. I can make super good, but she cooks more consistently now than I do. Yeah. So I tip my head. Cause she constantly comes up with stuff that we haven't had like like all the different crock pot meals and yeah. now we kind of have like a staple of what we have to just kind of stick around but she's able to look at a minute at something and be like hey would you like this and i'm like yeah and then she cooks it and it's amazing whereas if i cooked it i would i don't think it would turn out like it i'm He's not good at following directions no i was just gonna like say i can it. burn like i still can't make macaroni in a box Macaroni and cheese. You can make ramen though. I can make ramen. But again, I don't follow directions. I do it. Yeah, that's true. My he doesn't do it on way. And even when he starts, like for me, I always like to make a recipe the way that it's written the first time. And then if I think there's something we want to tweak, I tweak it later. He wants to tweak everything initially, I feel like. He's like, oh, don't you think this would be good? Don't you think that would be good? I'm like, I just want to see how it is by itself first. I think this is going to start smoking. You think so? Yep. And okay. I am not going outside to cook this. Favorite superhero? Dr. Doolittle. He's not super beautiful. He can talk to animals. No. Who's he saving? He, I mean, if he wanted to, he could save anyone. Yeah. By I mean, calling animals? Think about Max. Do you agree with me? No. I got a thumbs up from your dog. No. Okay, so for me, it has to be like Captain America or Hulk. Hulk would be specifically for the scene with what's his name? Rain Loki. 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 That's the yeah. greatest superhero scene of all time, I think. Um, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Favorite sport to watch? Probably soccer. In, I have in person hockey. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. On TV, soccer or tennis? Yeah. I actually think I like to watch tennis better. I'm sure no, that's weird. I don't like tennis. <laughs> you know, at all. At all. Like, I'd rather watch golf. I like playing golf, hate watching golf. I'd rather watch golf than tennis. Yeah, but he didn't understand tennis, so that makes sense. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? This one's so easy for me. Like that, if I could think of the name of it. Fleming's. Okay, how about that? <laughs> We've only been- I really like this restaurant. We've only but. been one time, because if you've ever been to a Fleming's, they're very expensive, but it was the best food I've ever had in my life. I'm sitting at the table the whole time thinking, how do they make food taste this good? It's absurd. How right. about you? And they, they walk you to the bathroom. And they walk you to the bathroom. Like, and they dust the, the crumbs off the table. And you're like, uh, I got it from here. <laughs> I'll be all right. I'll need more help. How about you, Ben? Big lesson. I really like Fleming's. Um, but so if, if we're doing like a one time, a once every couple of year thing, I'd say Fleming's. Okay. If it is like a consistent thing, I would say like Phil's Fish Market. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay. 
Either or, ocean or lake. Uh, if I had a choice, I would say ocean. Same ocean. Winter or summer? Um. This one is. Yeah, hard. it depends on where. Because of where we live. It's not hard for me, it's always summer for me. <laughs> like winter at Hume Lake is amazing. That's true, that's true. Summer in general, because you can go do more stuff. Right. If you're extremely quiet, what does that mean? You should probably leave me alone. For me, it means I'm upset about something and I'm trying not to laugh out at you in a way that I would not feel good about. <laughs> I'm sitting there. It depends on what the situation and who's around. Like, if I'm really quiet while she's around, it's I'm clearly upset about something. I don't like saying things that I don't mean or can't take back. So I'm trying to figure out how to word it so that we can have a conversation on it. If I'm around other people and I'm super quiet, I am doing everything in my power just to stay calm and not. Punch in the face. Yeah, or the throat. <laughs> throat check! How many pillows do you sleep with? One. Two. Sometimes, well, sometimes three. She, I, let, I let her fall asleep and then I'm tossing pillows. <laughs> we put a lot of pillows on our bed, so we generally have a big basket that has at least six decorative pillows and stuff in it. Maybe eight. <laughs> this this last I think so. I hope not. Hey, it'd be a great thumbnail. The fire, fire alarm. Fire cold. Our fire alarm here is... Linked to the entire apartment complex. And super, like, insanely loud. It's, I can't even describe how loud it is. What makes you happy? You do, baby. Oh, you make me happy too. You and the kids. Also, sunshine makes me happy. Days off. Yeah. Being together. What's your favorite memory of this date? So I, I would say the times like that we like all loaded up and went to Pismo or Magic Mountain. Mm, yeah, that was good times. Like, it was, I guess that we were dating, but that was a like, group. Yeah, those are fun. I think because we didn't do that much on our own. Usually, if we did it, we were going. To the but, but that was that was the fun. That was the fun. Yeah. What's your favorite? This is gonna be hard for me. Romantic movie. Oh, no, I know what mine is. You might name the one. I doubt it. I doubt it. I know it. <laughs> oh. That one is really sweet. It's so sweet. It's not supposed to be a romantic movie, but it's just that little scene of their life. It's so gosh darn romantic. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. <laughs> All right, but what are you trying to guess? Tell me something about it and I'll help you. I can't think of it. Can you think of what it's about? A guy likes this girl or a loves this woman. Yeah. That one. I can tell you my least favorite romantic movie. You wanna know what that is? What? Serendipity. So stupid. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I think so. Where they like meet and then like they realize that they really have a thing for each other and then they just like keep barely missing each other. You remember? Oh. I just like almost all movies that do that, where they are like twisting around the storyline to try and make it a hundred times more complicated than makes any sense. Oh, she can hmm. more. What? Cool. I guess it wasn't romantic, but I really like that instant family movie. That was like super family cute. Remember, like, they're like, they're like bickering and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, babe. When did that happen? I'm trying to figure out whether they're going to adopt the kids or not. Oh, uh, yeah. She's like freaking out and he's like freaking out. Or when the when little girl goes, oh, thank you, daddy. And she's like, what? What? Dad, I, want some of that. I want some of that. Come here. It was a cute one. All right, we're going to finish up cooking these hamburgers. We will have a real vlog up tomorrow, I promise. Even if it goes up late. I like sleepless in Seattle. Really? That's all right. Oh yeah. See, I have we haven't watched one in so long. 
We watch a lot more comedies and things like that now. Crazy. Yeah. And we just don't watch movies that much. Other than kids movies, we watch a lot of kids movies. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching this long, mostly unedited video. I'm going to cut out parts where I'm like, leave the camera and abandon you because I'm like, checking on other things. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.